for watching. I'm Mike Tank. Polls closed over a day ago, and Vigo County is still working to count the votes. Earlier today, we reported that a technical issue slowed the count of the county's ballots. Right now, Taylor Johnson is at the courthouse where she's been following the story throughout the day. Taylor. Mike, it's been a long day and it's starting to turn into a long night here at the Vigo County Courthouse. Now, it's been over 12 hours since election workers came back to restart counting those ballots that they started to have some issues with and they've been doing so down this hallway back here. Now, the last time that we got results was on right before 11 this morning. Right now, we have 54% of the ballots in and that is an unofficial results at this point in time. When we'll have the final results, we're not sure. Vigo County Clerk Brad Newman says that he doesn't know when the final results are going to be in, but they're going to keep counting until they know. He's brought in more machines. He's called in more people to help move things along. So with this delay that has happened with this technical problem, it's due to sheets of paper that the ballots were printed on and they have barcodes on them. So those barcodes have to be scanned into a machine, but because the margin of the barcode was so slim, they were unable to be read by that scanner, which meant that they had to remake those ballots with the Democratic and a Republican representative watching them do so. Now, based on what the clerk has told us through the night, that they are still experiencing that issue, which is causing this delay to continue on. Now, I also spoke earlier to the president of the Vigo County Election Board, and she says that they're doing everything that they can to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We are in contact with the vendor, and the vendor is in our vendor, our equipment vendor, and they are in contact with the paper manufacturer to, you know, with regards to this issue. So it's just one of those things and we're just trying to be very meticulous and that every single vote has been tabulated. Now, as I mentioned before, we aren't sure when the final results are going to be ready, but we're going to continue to keep watch until they come in. Now, we can you can check the results that we have so far on our website, mywabashvalley.com. Again, that's 54% of the ballots counted, and those are unofficial. Going to send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Taylor, for all your hard work today and patience.